Hey, what are you shaking, homies? So today I got something really cool. I got a $20 Balasong trainer that's actually really good that any of you guys can get on Amazon. This is legal basically everywhere because it's a trainer. But yeah, since I first started making Balasong videos, people always ask me like, what's the best Balasong for $20? And the answer's always been, there is no good Balasongs for $20. But now, um, you actually have an option. This is titanium inlays, it's got G10 scales, uh, and it, it's just nice build construction, nice quality, seems to flip good. I've had it for two days. Um, yeah, you, it, it's on Amazon, so you can get it to your house in just a couple days. So, enough talking about it, let's compare it to some other knives, um, take some close-ups of it, we'll get into flipping it, and I will tell you my overall opinion. Okay, when you receive the Bally, it'll come in this little sheath. It basically just came in this, and this was wrapped in uh, a bunch of like wrapped packaging. It basically just came in this. Um, yeah, so here it is. Like I said, this is G10 scales, titanium inlays in there. They are anodized red, which is really cool. I probably will take those out and do a, like a custom anode on them. Um, but yeah, I really, really think it's cool. They actually did not anode the sides, so they masked that off somehow when they did that. Either that or it was polished after. But yeah, really cool. So this did come like Loctited already, so like I haven't had to tighten any of these but I am after I play with this a little more I'm gonna go back and double check these make sure I don't need to none of these are backing out and then I need to lock tight any of them but it feels really nice so the dimensions of this is it's 4.37 ounces I weighed it on my scale um, and then I measured it at 200 uh, or at the overall length is 240 millimeters and uh, just the blade length is uh, 98 millimeters. So in inches, that's uh, 3.86, and overall 9.45. And uh, yeah, once again, it weighed. It's pretty lightweight. You know, it weighed like 4. Point, uh, was it 4.37? I weighed it at. Um, this is a huge knife, the Max Ace Covenant, but you know, it's obviously a little shorter than that. Here's the Max Ace DMG, also quite a large knife. Um, Quite a bit smaller, but I'd say these are both really big knives. But I'd say this is probably like average size, good size for learning. Um, you know, uh, I like how it's nice and rounded off. The G10 actually feels really nice. This is a 440C stainless, so you don't have to worry about it rusting really. It is does have like a slight, um, what do you call that? Um, you know what I mean? I mean it's like it's like grinded off there on the spine. Not chamfered, ah, I can't think of the name off the top of my head, but you know what I mean? It's like nice and smooth all the way around. There's no sharp edges. Um, it, just, it feels really nice. Here's the weight distribution. So pretty neutral. Uh, we'll get more into that. It does have a spring latch, which actually works pretty good. Um, it works. Does it also work in this position? Yep. Yeah, it works. I believe it does come with the screwdriver too. I believe these are T9 and T6. Um, there is not much handle play at all. This actually runs on washers. It's got. It looks like it has nine lines washers and bronze phosphorus washers in there. But I haven't taken it apart yet. But that's what it appears to be to me. I'm almost 100% positive. Um, but uh, yeah. But overall, it has a nice feel. I just I like how it's kind of like. It kind of like bows down a little right there. Crown spine. That's what that was called. Jeez, that was driving me crazy. Yeah, it's got a slight crowned spine all the way around. Everything's slightly crowned. Oh, that was driving me crazy. I couldn't think of that word. The Zen pins actually feel really nice, too. I like how they use Zen pins. Um, but for $20, the build quality alone is really good. And here you can see there's still red uh, anodized there. So actually they anodized the whole thing red. Then they must have sanded it right there. Because then on those little divots there, they're still anno. So these it uses pretty small block spacers. They look like they're just like G10. So they're not gonna. They don't add that much weight to the back of it, which is kind of why I feel like this is a. Uh, it's pretty neutral. Yeah, I think if they use big heavy block spacers like made of steel or aluminum or titanium or whatever, it would be too handle heavy, um, especially because there's so many cutouts in the blade. But by using these just pretty light spacers, it really just gives it just a little bit of weight where it's pretty neutral um, for the most part. So yeah, so I guess let's uh, let's play with the thing. 
Who cares about talking, right? Okay, guys, so I got it here. Let me start off by saying I'm by no means a professional. Um, first thing that I really like about this is I like the sound it makes. It's got a nice sound to it, especially closing it. It's got that cool ring. It's open, closed, but just like flipping it in general. It has a really, really cool sound. It sounds, sounds great. Also, too, the G10 feels really nice. It's got a nice grip. It's very easy to catch it um, on rollovers and stuff. It doesn't stick. It's perfect. It doesn't, sometimes G10, especially on cheaper knives, will feel like that cheap plastic. This actually feels really nice. The slight texture to it almost looks like kind of carbon fiber-ish, you know, like that weird texture. And it feels, it's very aesthetically pleasing um, as well. Um, this knife, it also aerials really good, being that it's um, very, like, neutrally balanced. A great aerial knife. Also, too, because, you know, obviously as a trainer, you could you could practice your more, your scarier aerials, like trying to catch it. Oh, hit myself in the face almost there. Like that, or trying to catch it, like, behind your back. You know, you can practice all that stuff with this without really having to worry about it, which is always super cool. Um, but, yeah, just for, like, rollovers and stuff, it flows really nice. For a $20 Battlesong trainer, this is probably the, your best bet. I don't see... I've never seen anything this good for twenty dollars that wasn't, you know, and especially this isn't a clone ripoff of anything else. It looks like a couple different knives and stuff, but it's it's not like a clone of anything. It's kind of its own, it's its own weird, weird bells on, and I really like it. Um, like I said, I mean, I'm by no means a professional, but you know, I have quite a few bells on. I've played with enough where I can really tell you uh, how I feel about it, and I really like this one. For twenty dollars, this is really—you can't get better than this for twenty dollars. Um, if I, you know, somebody rec like is asking me, like, "Hey, I want to get a battle song for my kid, but I don't want to get him a knife. What's a decent trainer?" Usually, I say like the BB Barfly, but it's kind of weird for a kid to have a bottle opener first off. And like, it, you know, I like how this has a latch. If you're somebody that likes latches, you know, you can if you don't like them, you can always take it off. Um, the only downside is I think it's kind of lame that this one came with Loctite on it. I, I guess maybe it's good if you're somebody that like really young that doesn't know anything about knives and doesn't want to have to mess with it. But I like it when everything comes loose and I, lock I adjust it, lock tight it myself. Um, so keep, it comes with a screwdriver, so just keep an eye on, you know, because sometimes you never know what type of Loctite they use on there or how well they do it, um, if it's actually going to stay on there. So as I said, as far as right now, everything's staying nice and tight. Uh, I don't have any handle play really. So it's working out great for a $20 bell song. You're getting titanium. Titanium inlay is in G10, uh, 440C. I mean, it's not like a, doesn't run on bearings. Um, I am not sure if there is a bushings in here or if it's just uh, the washers, but I mean, it, it plays great as it is. So I'm extremely impressed with this. I might get it in the other colors. I'll put the link in the description. It's only 20 bucks. Buy it or someone else might buy it and you don't have it. So until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Let me know what you want to see next and peace.